Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives with another knife review. Today I have a knife from Spain. Now the brand is CDS, so I will call this the CDS Survival Knife. You could also use it for bushcraft. It's available on Amazon in uh, four different handle colors. So I will include that link. The blade length is four inches by my measure. It's got my car to handle scales. You see the red liners, true full tang, and it has a uh, a lanyard hole through the extended part of the tang and it's got some jimping on a thumb rest there so there you see it in my hand it fits my hand pretty perfectly and my hand is medium large for a dude the blade shape is a pretty classic blade shape that we see uh, again and again extra wide drop point pretty much every company will have at least one design that's of that blade shape but nonetheless it's pretty popular blade shape for both skinners camp knives maybe some bushcraft the steel on this is mv58 now that is a proprietary steel there's a spanish manufacturer and they sell it to other spanish brands here is the sheath that it comes with you see the belt loop it also comes with that fire starter which i will demonstrate later in the video Alright, so it's a pretty nice leather sheath. I mean, there's a snap closure there. It pretty much, it reminds me of a, like a custom leather sheath that you'd have made special. So, I'm happy with this sheath. It is traditional. You know, it's not Kydex, but as a leather sheath, it's pretty awesome. This is uh, some footage I took when I first got the knife before I used and abused it. It was pretty much paper slice and sharp. Yeah, it did come very sharp, you know, not quite as sharp as like a Delica because it's not as thin, but... Alright, something tougher than paper. Making some shavings with this uh, CDS knife. Yeah, and we're gonna make, we're gonna test out that fire starter on these. I'll, I'll give you a spoiler. It works. But yeah, making shavings with this. Now, every once in a while, I'll like encounter someone who basically believes you can't make a fire without a feather stick like you can't just light shavings on fire uh you know this is what's wrong with the internet but yeah later we're going to do the completely impossible and uh light some stuff on fire without a feather stick but yeah this wood is really dry and because of that, it will light easily and burn well. But this knife is well sharp enough to make shavings or to accomplish any other mundane camp chores. I mean, at four inches, it's kind of around the ideal length of what they call a camp knife, which most camp knives are between four and five inches. Also depends how large your hand is. Now, as far as this uh, MV58 steel, this is the second knife that I've had with this steel. And the first knife was less expensive than this knife. And really, because of that first knife and how well the steel performed, that's what gave me the reassurance to actually spend for this knife. And people have compared that steel to 440C with the best possible heat treatment. It is a stainless steel. And I have some Entrex that are 440C with an elite heat treatment. And yeah, it does. It is tough like them. All right. Yes, you can use the spine. Here is the fire starting. Yes, that is my hair. I am not bald yet. And there you go. Now that is on fire. You will see it starts small, but it will grow to a mighty roaring fire. All right, maybe, maybe not that big because I don't want to burn down the yard, but... Oh, by the way, if you're like a young person, be careful with campfires. I ain't here to lecture you, but you see this stuff on a, a video review. That doesn't mean to randomly go around the woods starting fires. I mean, freaking obviously, you got to watch it like a hawk and... It's good to have some way to put it out. I mean, you know, me and my neighbors, we all have barbecues. 
All right, so we have ways to, you know, we have ways at hand to control a fire. But if you're out in the woods, you got to be even more vigilant. But there you go, the money shot of any, <laughs> the money shot of any uh, review. And yes, I did, I did make sure it was thoroughly out and safe. Uh, some batoning. Now this is a fairly short knife, so you have to control your expectations. In other words, you're not going to do pieces of wood that are that thick. But nonetheless, it's good to show show it doing something, and it's good to know that it can withstand a tiny. This is not abuse. I had I had a commenter say batoning is knife abuse. Really? I mean, like. You know, pieces of wood that small, that's not a, it's not going to break from that. I mean, I guess it depends what wood you're using. It doesn't matter. It's my knife. I reserve the right to do whatever I want with it. I could throw it off a cliff if I wanted. I'm not going to. But yeah, you can make your little camp kindling. That's all I wanted to show. You can make your little camp kindling with this uh, CDS knife. And the knife, it's a handy little knife and it's attractive. There it is with uh, my two other knives that I currently own that were also made in Spain. You got that Kudamon folder and then that large knife there. That's a uh, the Aquatana knife. And I will include links to those reviews and to them on Amazon. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting the groove of Spanish knives, you know. All right, final thoughts on this knife. Well, first of all, that larger knife I showed, that's the first knife I had with the same steel as this knife. I do like the steel because, well, it's a stainless steel, so it's going to resist corrosion, but it's also tough. I mean, I beat up that larger knife a lot more just because it's, you know, you can do a lot more heavy stuff with a big knife. And that steel held up well, so I have no reservations about the steel. This knife, it was uh, around $90. I have no idea if that's a good price because there's only like one or two stores in the USA that carry this. So there's not much competition. And I imagine when and if more stores here carry it, the price would go down. Right. So, I, you know, you're paying a markup because it's it's not well known. It comes from another country and there's only a few places that have it. Uh, this one sells out. There's there's four different handle scale colors. This is the most popular one. I've seen it sell out a bunch of times, but I will include the links to Amazon nonetheless, whatever they have. Now, is there any reason to buy this in, as opposed to like a less expensive knife? You know, not really. I mean, if you're on a budget, don't buy this, but it's a great knife, a great performer. It's attractive, functional. It came sharp. It's got durability. The sheath was nice. The uh, fire steel worked well. So, yeah, I have no complaints about the knife. I do recommend it. I just don't recommend it if you're on a tight budget. But, hey, I mean, there's bench-made bushcraft knives that, that are even more expensive than this one. You know, some people just have a joy of using a finely made knife. So yeah, I mean, if you want to go that high, why not go for this? All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I hope you enjoyed seeing this blade. I'm out.